A piece in a New York-based publication entitled Racism Outshines Platinum Jubilee, has sparked a frenzy after the Queen celebrated her monumental milestone of 70 years on the throne. The article was published in the Humor section of the magazine's website, but the joke appears to have fallen flat. It comes just days after Britons gathered across the nation to mark the Jubilee with street and garden parties while the royal family made a series of high-profile appearances. The article, which opens with the words racism brought some of its most iconic looks to the Platinum Jubilee, effectively stealing the show, was shared on Twitter by royal expert Richard Eden. He said, is this a satirical piece about racism in the royal family? It's hard to tell. The article goes on to highlight Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's absence from the Buckingham Palace balcony during the Trooping of the Colour, the Queen's official birthday parade. It reads, on Thursday, for the Trooping of the Colour, racism wore one designer exclusively, Erasure. Racism made its arrival in a sleek look by Erasure. A barely there, minimal and modern ensemble of not allowing Meghan and Harry to join the royal family on the balcony, a choice so understated that some might have had trouble recognising racism at all. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex did not appear on the balcony for the prestigious 260-year-old event, which sees more than 1,400 parading soldiers, 200 horses and 400 musicians march together each June in a display of military precision, horsemanship and fanfare. Meghan and Harry instead made an appearance through the palace windows, choosing to keep a low profile for the celebrations. But they did step out for Friday's service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral in London where they were met with a mixture of boos and cheers from the crowd. Commenting on the Sussex mixed reception, the US magazine said, on Friday, at a service of Thanksgiving for Her Majesty at St. Paul's Cathedral, racism, attending with its partner, colonialism, turned things up a notch in haute couture by the House of Anxiety, a dazzling coat composed of thousands of individual boos directed toward Meghan and Harry as they entered the church. But furious readers took to Twitter to denounce the piece's mocking tone, claiming it was stoking division. User Camerian claimed the piece was an attempt to smear the firm. They said, they are trying hard to smear the whole thing, obviously not understanding that the British people have given two fingers to whoever tries to do that. It will be interesting to see the cancellation of British subscribers to this website. And JSTAGRL1 urged people to not fall for race bait, as it serves zero purpose. They said, stop falling for people trying to race bait. It's just divisive behavior that serves zero purpose in an already divided world. On a lighter note, it's entertaining watching two very similar countries deflect on which one was historically worse. 